two, why have you forgotten me? Have you ever felt abandoned by God? Like God is miles and miles away. We're going to read in a moment, chapter 43 of Psalm. It, it says it in another way, to God. The author says to God, why have you rejected me? Okay, you've forgotten me, you've abandoned me, you've rejected me. And I really like what one commentator said about this. He said, it's not that the author does not believe that God is everywhere or that God is not with him, but it is, it is his being away from home that has gotten him down. And he's depressed in this state that causes him to feel like God is absent. And I think we do that. We reason and say, well, God's everywhere. God should be with me through the valley of the shadow of death. God hasn't abandoned me. But until we reason that, we're honest about how we feel. And I want to tell you and encourage you, pray out to God how you feel and be honest. Um, and maybe it's messy. Maybe it's not a beautiful prayer that would be something to write down in a journal or even to share with people or ever to be published. But it's just a messy, honest prayer between you and God. I love what Charles Spurgeon, the, the famous preacher, wrote about this. He says, we often pray best when we stammer and stutter and we pray worst when the words come rolling like a torrent, one after another. God is not moved by words. Get that. We think prayer is like that. you got to be so eloquent. God is not moved by words. They are but noise to him. He is only moved by the deep thought and the heaving emotion which dwell in the innermost spirit. And when those feelings come out, it can be like stuttering and stammering. But God wants you to be honest with him. As I like this... Uh, this statement, I was meditating on this, and I want to repeat this and want us to get it. God is big enough to take it, and he's loving enough to absorb it. When you're honest with God, he's big enough to take it, and he's loving enough to absorb it.